Martin, the final uh, final half term of the school year. I'm not sure whether you grade uh, half terms in, uh, in in terms of their busyness or, or, or congestion, but it seems a very busy one to me. You've got exams going on at the moment, Year 11s and Year 13s. Tell me about the Year 11s, how are they doing? So the Year 11s are doing great. Um, I said at the start of the exam thing that the biggest challenge was going to be the logistics around trying to keep it going for, for kind of six weeks. The government deliberately extended the period to try and give us, give us more time, but that's created its own problems. They've been amazing. Uh, you know, the job that Struan's done has had a year and Paul Boy's overseeing that. Um, it's been, it has been, as I said before, like a military operation. Mm -hmm. But the really pleasing thing for me is that they're all still here. Um, no such thing as study leave. They're doing their revision with us. Um, even the subject teachers, where their subject is finished, are then helping out with the English and the maths and the science that's still to come. So, I, you know, I, I'm really delighted with it, but it has been a massive challenge. So, um, you know, the sun's out. It, we're starting to feel like the summer, but it still feels like we've got plenty to do. Um, but yeah, Year 11's really pleased with, really pleased with the way that the staff have, um, have, have looked after them, um, as well as guided them and, and pushed them. And, and they'll be getting a pretty special send off from us um, in just over a week's time. And yeah, not just the year 11s who've been uh, sitting exams this half term, but also the, the, the sixth form, the year 13s. Yeah, we, we sometimes overlook the year 13s, I think, but um, the, the atmosphere and the, and the culture that's, that's starting to be developed in the sixth form is, is actually, it's really gone up a notch. Um, so the fact that we don't talk about, about them as much perhaps says that that the sixth form team are doing such a good job with them, it, it almost takes care of, them, of itself. But they, they have created a culture in the sixth form where the, the, the students just know what's expected of them. So the year 13 exams in particular has been relatively painless, but that's only because of a hell of a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes to make, to make it look that way. So yeah, we're nearing the end. We've got a um, little over a week to go with the public exams. Um, and then we can kind of take a deep breath, but obviously then all the planning for next year kicks in. So You mentioned that planning, you mentioned logistics early on, and I, 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 I don't think many people realise what goes into setting an exam and sitting an exam and, and, and all, all, the, all the jobs that, 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 that are there that aren't teaching jobs, the, the scribes and yeah. the people who set the exam. I, I mean, I don't make it easy for people here because I, I always use this phrase about wanting my cake and eating it. But yeah. We've changed the time of the school day so that we can get extra little bits of revision cramming in in the mornings and in the afternoons before the exams start. Um, we've got a phenomenal exam team. Uh, Ali and Rebecca just go about the business every day, um, but it becomes more and more complicated every year uh, and they just make it happen. And then we've got a team of scribes, which, which includes Amy, my own, my own PA, um, and a team of support staff that go and sit down patiently working one-to-one -one with the students, just mm. just giving them that extra little bit of support that they need um, to access the exam. So it is a massive team effort. Uh, and that and then we have a, a, a big group of invigilators that come in from outside, who nearly always are friends of the school that come back year on year. Um, so it, it all sounds as though it's all running smoothly and relatively peacefully, uh, and it is, uh, but we mustn't underestimate and we mustn't forget to thank the number of people that it involves because it's a huge team effort here. Yeah. You mentioned about uh, taking a deep breath and, 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 and we're not just talking about you and the year 13s, I think there's a whole of the rest of the school there. You've got Enrichment Week coming up this half term as well, which is a, a, again another massive undertaking by the school, isn't it? Tell us a yeah, bit we, about we that. missed that the last couple of years with COVID um, and it's a really ambitious programme. Every student in the school uh, takes part in, in some form of activity for the week. Uh, we're really proud of it and rightly so we've got kids going off canoeing and climbing and walking and doing pretty much every activity you can imagine um, but, but where I'm particularly pleased is, is the inclusive nature of it um, we don't exclude youngsters because they can't afford it or because they can't access it um, we, we make that happen so um, yeah trips visits all sorts going on that week and it involves every student every member of staff so it's a it's a it's a luxury item, but it's one of those luxuries that we can't afford not to do, I think. The thing that strikes me about it, is, uh, I'm relatively new to this, but the enthusiasm from the staff for doing it is, is I mean, it's genuine, isn't it? They're yeah, not something yeah. they feel they're lumped to have been doing it. They want to do it. Yeah, they've missed it, haven't they? They've missed it for two years, and it, it's one of the many things that predates me. It's something that Lipson's always done well, and it was just a case of giving, giving the staff back their confidence to, to be able to do it again, because we do it as well as anyone.
uh, and the kids get a great deal. We're always one jump ahead in this game, aren't we? And at the end of this uh, half term, we've got the uh, the summer school, which is a sort of part of the transition for people coming into Lipson next school year, isn't it? Yeah, we got a huge amount of money from the government to, to do this last year, and um, we used that money to, to bring a lot of staff in during the summer holidays, voluntary, um, if they wanted to, we paid them. Uh, and we attracted, I think, 170, 170, 175 students to the summer school. The impact that had in September was phenomenal because they already knew their teachers, they mm. knew their way around, they knew what Lipson stood for. So we reckon it saved us weeks, if not months, in terms of settling those year sevens down. So uh, I'm not supposed to be political, am I? Um, as with lots of these initiatives, the, the funding was there initially. The funding's not there this year, um, but we're doing it anyway. Uh, we think the benefits are such that we've got to invest in it. So we're going to run it as a free programme again. We're not going to charge our students for it. I uh, think in the climate that we're living in at the moment, um, I, I just don't think it's ethically right to be taking money off, off the parents uh, for, for anything. So. So we're going to run the, pretty much the same programme as last year. Again, it's really ambitious. It includes lots of staff, lots of sixth formers getting involved. Uh, and, and we set our target high. We've got over 200 year sevens joining us in September. We're hoping to get as many of those students in in the summer for a week uh, to get a feel about what we stand for as we possibly can. And they'll have a fantastic uh, array of activities. They'll do some work, they'll do some English, they'll do some maths but they'll also do some really fun stuff as well. And, and, and I'm hoping that by keeping it free of charge, we'll get the vast, vast majority of our year six students coming in in the summer. One last thing we should talk about that's gonna be happening this half term is the High School Musical, which is the, uh, the, the theatre, the drama production for, for this half term. I, I say we ought to mention it because I think tickets, if they haven't gone on sale, they will be going on sale very, very soon. I think it's watch this space, yeah. I think the tickets go on sale. If they're not on sale today, they go on sale early next week. Um, <laughs> I, I remember when my daughter was small I, I know the words to High School Musical off by I promise I won't sing it to you uh, so I did have a little smile to myself when it, when I, was, I found out what the musical was going to be it'll be great fun I've heard the kids practising it um, the, the, the performing arts we've talked about many times um, it will be inclusive there'll be loads of kids involved in it but I also know the quality will be great. So that's something for us all to look forward to. And you know, the nice thing about that, that loads of the staff will come and watch if they're not in it, if they're not helping out behind the scenes. So that'll be a proper, you know, proper community event again. Brilliant. Thank you very much.